Heidi Klum and Seal had a whirlwind extravagant kind of love that you see in movies. Their marriage was one for the books, but it clearly wasn't as picture perfect as it seemed, and they officially divorced in 2014. So what went wrong? Here are some of the things you may not know about Heidi Klum and Seal's breakup. Split rumors started flying in January 2012 after Seal sent out a cryptic tweet that simply said, The End. Two days later, the pair made it official with a joint statement that read in part, We have had the deepest respect for one another throughout our relationship and continue to love each other very much, but we have grown apart. Fans of the couple were shocked because for years it seemed like Klum and Seal would prevail over the long list of doomed Hollywood marriages. But all good things must come to an end, and their good thing ended after seven years. Overall, the two stayed relatively quiet about what caused their split, particularly in the wake of their public statement about it. In fact, while speaking with with Elle in March 2012, Klum said that she felt like she was in the eye of a tornado, trying to deal with the emotions of the situation. She added, I don't want to talk positively or negatively about the ups and downs that we had. Every couple goes through things. Unfortunately, we're in public, so the highs are out there, but I don't think it's necessary, especially for our children to have the lows being printed in magazines and talked about. In later interviews, both Klum and Seal became a tad more forthright about those issues. Seal, a chart-topping singer, and Klum, a top supermodel, both have jobs that require them to jet around the world for extended periods of time. And even though things like technology and travel have made long-distance relationships much more viable than they were in the past, everyone knows how difficult being apart from a loved one for long periods of time can be. Klum basically said as much in a post-split interview with Redbook, where she offered an arguably gloomy attempt at optimism, saying, Seal traveled a lot. The kids knew it was part of his job. I'm a mom and a dad at the same time. On the bright side, she says his busy schedule made it a little easier for her to transition into becoming a single mother. She told the magazine, Obviously things have changed, but they haven't changed drastically. Seal allegedly had an anger issue, and multiple insiders told TMZ that his, quote, volcanic temper was a large reason for his split from Klum. Supposedly, it became too much for Heidi to handle, with the tab alleging that it was affecting their children. Even his ex-girlfriend Tatiana Petit confirmed his hot-headedness and claimed it was the reason for their breakup as well. According to In Touch, Petit said, He is not a nice person. He is definitely not someone who I think of fondly now. But Seal refuted claims about his alleged bad temper. People want to sensationalize things and people, you know, that's just the nature of the, of the business. Speaking with Piers Morgan, Seal explained that, in his view, people wrongly started making assumptions about him after a paparazzi incident involving his kids, in which he claimed he merely raised his voice at a photographer who allegedly hit his son in the head with a camera lens. Granted, he didn't really address the claims made by his ex or those unnamed insiders who spoke with TMZ. But regardless, Seal says he is just your average overprotective dad. The first question everybody asks when a celeb couple breaks up, did one of them cheat? Seal surprisingly gave a pretty definitive answer to this question when he got candid with a TMZ camera crew in September 2012, which happened to be right around the time that it was revealed that Klum had started dating the couple's former bodyguard. Asked how he felt about his ex's new relationship, Seal said, Whilst I didn't expect any better from him, I would have thought Heidi would have shown a little bit more class and at least waited until we separated first before deciding to fornicate with the help, as it were. Were. Seal later clarified his words to people with his rep saying in a statement, he was not implying his wife was cheating on him while they were together, but rather he was pointing out that they are separated and the divorce is not final so they are legally still married. Klum attempted to set the record straight too. In an interview with Katie Couric, she said, it's not true. I've never looked at another man while I was with him. It's hard when you, when you think that he thinks that or I don't know, you know, he was hurt. He's moved on. In 2014, Klum started dating art curator Vito Schnabel. She received some judgment about their age difference, since she was 13 years older than him. But Klum wasn't embarrassed about it and ended up dating him for three years. She told Ocean Drive, It doesn't matter what people say. As long as you know when you close your door in your own home, you have an amazing time together. That's really all that matters. In 2018, she started dating Tokyo Hotel artist Tom Cowlitz, who was 17 years younger than her. The pair got engaged 
engaged on Christmas Eve and married two months later. But they didn't tell the public for months. As for how Seal felt about Klum finally tying the knot with someone else, he told a Daily Mail photographer who apparently broke the news to him, I just don't have a lot of interest in that subject in general. What am I going to say? What do you actually want me to say? I'm as confused as you are. Still, it seems Klum and Seal have been able to maintain a strong co-parent relationship. Klum told Entertainment Tonight, we're always there for our children and always will be. And Seal seems to concur. He told Larry King in an interview that co-parenting is the toughest gig in the world, but added, I think Heidi is a, a great parent. I think she's a great mother. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.